Welcome. Good morning. And we welcome you to Cathedral of Faith Ministries. We are so blessed by God to be here on this morning to have you join in with us, with you, all of us all together on this first Sunday in May, May the 2nd, 2021. Amen. Can someone just begin to give God a praise in your own special way? Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, let us magnify the Lord. Amen. Well, we're just so blessed and we're so honored in being here on this morning. We thank all of you for being here with us this morning. Amen. We're going to have a scripture reading. Amen. And a prayer. Amen. Followed by uh, two songs from our praise team. And then we'll have our announcement and we will go from there. Amen. 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 Our scripture reading this morning is going to come from Psalm 95. Psalm 95. And the scripture reads, Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Amen. Amen. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and with uh, and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God. Amen. Amen. And a great king above all gods. Yeah. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. Amen. The sea is his. And he made it and his hands formed the dry land. Amen. Amen. Oh, come, let us worship yeah. and bow down. Amen. Let us kneel down. Amen. Before before the Lord, our maker, for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Yeah. Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your heart as in the provocation and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. Amen. Amen. When your fathers tempted me, proved me and saw my work. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, it is the people that do err in their heart and they have not known my ways unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Amen. Let us pray together. Father God, we just love you this morning. And as the scripture says, hallelujah, oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Amen. This new and beautiful day, a new and beautiful, hallelujah, opportunity, hallelujah, Father God, to share in your grace and in your mercy. Oh, Father God, to be able to breathe the air, hallelujah, to be able to see the bright blue sky. Oh, Father God, to be able to see the wondrous works that you're doing, hallelujah, in this world, in our, in our land. Oh, Father God, we cannot be grieved on this morning, even though we might have some things, hallelujah, that we're dealing with hallelujah but if we're breathing hallelujah and if we're alive hallelujah oh god you've given us another opportunity oh father god to witness your grace and your mercy oh father god another opportunity hallelujah oh father god to build relationships to encourage hallelujah oh father god to look for the faith hallelujah oh father god to help someone oh father god we just love you and we magnify you today oh father god and we're not going to let the rocks cry out for us today Father God, we're going to praise you. Yes, Lord. But Father God, because we know that you are our help. Yes, oh, Father God, you are our maker. Yes, and Father God, we need to always lean and trust on you in, yes, in any situation that we're yes, going Lord. through. Yes, we love you and we praise you and we bless you now. Yes, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, someone continue to bless the Lord yes, right where you are. Hallelujah. Let us receive our praise team, our beautiful praise team. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good morning, everybody. We're entering into the presence of the King. He is royalty. And we reverence his majesty. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Put it in the chat. Tell me if you got a hallelujah. Say hallelujah. How many have a hallelujah praise? Hallelujah. I pray. Hallelujah praise. Hallelujah in the spirit. Put your hands together. continually be in my mouth. There is nothing like the praises of God, the singing in the house of God. We thank and praise the Lord this morning. 
this morning for just being here, for being in his presence and just hearing the worship of the people of God and hearing the voices of the praise team on this morning. We welcome you to our morning worship, to our e-church. We welcome you on today. Welcome to the month of May. Amen. Amen. We are Cathedral of Faith Ministries. And we are streaming live on our Facebook page, on Bishop Richard Johnson's YouTube channel, and our conference call line. Because we are the people, we the people are the church. We are one church in two locations, Irmo, South Carolina, and Charlotte, North Carolina, where our theme for the year is 2021 is the year of unexpected blessings and miracles as we continue to walk by faith and not by sight. We would like for you to know that we are praying for you and your families, that God will continue to cover you with his precious blood, that he will protect you, and that he will prosper and keep you in good health. On today, we're especially praying for our sister Brenda Gant in the uh, tragic accident of her friend's daughter. We pray that you would, we ask that you would continue to lift her and this family up in your prayers as there were two young ladies who were killed tragically on last night. And our hearts go out to you as we pray for you during your time of loss. Anyone else that is grieving the loss of loved ones, just know that we are praying for you as well. We remind our members that there's blessed oil on the altar. Please pick up your bottle before leaving on today. To our e-church and our, our church family, we appreciate your seeds that you are sowing into this ministry. We ask you to continue to support us through Zelle or Venmo at mycofm at gmail.com, through cash at, at cofm01, and our postal services at post office box 2915, Irmo, South Carolina, 29063. On this week, week in our Charlotte location, brother and sister Jonathan Barr will be celebrating their anniversary on the 8th. That's brother and sister Jonathan Barr. We wish you a very happy anniversary Amen. this week. Amen. Amen. At our Irmo location celebrating birthdays this week is none other than our youth leader, Sister Yolanda Harris, who will be celebrating, well, she is celebrating today, the second. Today is her birthday. <laughs> and she is here with us on today. God bless you. Happy birthday, Sister Yolanda. Enjoy your day and your week and your month. Amen. Also celebrating birthdays this week is our brother Reginald Wesley, who will be celebrating on the 6th. We ask you to continue to celebrate your birthdays because truly birthdays are a blessing from the Lord. They are his gift to you as well as to the world. All right. At this time, we thank you so much for being with us again and for hearing and listening to our services on today. We pray that you will have a wonderful, wonderful week. We ask you to prepare yourselves to have communion with us on today. Prepare yourselves in our e-church to have communion with us on today. God bless you.
neighbors say God is good to me. How many blessed people do we have in here today? Amen. Somebody give God a praise. Give God a praise. Give God a praise. But this is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad. We will rejoice and be glad. It's a blessed day today to be able to come into the house of the Lord and to hear this uh, praise team and you all just got together with it and just was so blessed today. I, I, I look at Sister Scott while she was uh, singing her, her 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 daughters were just imitating her. I say, boy, they, they are learning and they are participating. That's a wonderful thing. God wants us to be role models. Amen. And I just thank God for what he is doing. It's so good to see each of you today on this special day. This is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad. How many people here are blessed today? Uh, would the blessed people give God a praise? Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continually be on and in my mouth and on my lips. Amen. Amen. I'm so happy to know that God still is in control. He is still Lord. He is still Master. And on this special day, the first Sunday of May, we say to the Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this year is moving very swiftly. Very, very swiftly. And we have to know that God knows what is. How many blessed people do I have in here today? Amen. If you bless, just raise your hands. Amen. Let somebody know God is good to me. Amen. God is good to me. He is blessing me. Yeah. As I prayed and asked God uh, for a word for today, and he spoke to me very clearly from the book of St. John chapter number 10 and verse number 27. Very clearly, God told me to tell somebody, God's not through blessing you. Uh, anybody want to receive a blessing today? Amen. God said he's not through blessing you. And he told me to tell you the best is what? The best, the best is yet to come. And we can just hang in there and know that God has a plan to bless you. How many believe that God has a plan to bless your family? Amen. Your children, your spouse, your sisters, your brother, your nieces and nephews, your family. And you know, the blessings come from you because God has blessed you. Amen. And you have to open your mouth and know that God has given you power and authority to bless. Let us pray, Father, bless us now. Speak to us. Speak to our hearts and our minds today only as you can. Give us a word today that will bless us, that will lift us, that will let us know that you're still God, you're still in charge, that you're still, hallelujah, not through blessing us. Somebody say, bless my family. Come on, say it again. Bless my family. Come on, say it again. Bless my family. God, I will give you praise. Hallelujah. I wish I would say this. Bless your people. Amen. Bless your church. Bless your people. Hallelujah. Because I believe God intends for you and I to have a good week. How many of you looking for a good week this week? Amen. God is in the business of blessing. Now, now, one of the things that God has been dealing with me on is understanding that God always has a word for us. Father, bless us now. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Somebody say, I love the Lord. I love the Lord. Uh, in the book of St. 
John chapter number 10. A uh, very familiar passage of scripture. Uh, God speaks to us. He says, my sheep hear my voice. And I know them. And they follow me. That verse gives us three things that the Lord says directly to you and I. Yeah. Somebody say, my sheep. my sheep. Say it again, my sheep. My sheep. Hear my voice. My sheep hear my voice. And then he says, I know them and they follow me. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 20 says, and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never, somebody say never, 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 never perish, neither Shall any man pluck them out of my hand? I uh, wish you look at somebody and say, I'm safe in the hand of Jesus. Safe in the hand of Jesus. Hallelujah. Safe, safe, safe in the hands of Jesus. God is speaking to us very clearly today to bless us to understand that He has a plan to bless you. A question to you. Are you listening to the voice of the Lord as he speaks to you on a daily basis? Uh, the scripture is clear. The scripture is very, very clear. He said, my sheep hear my, my voice. Number one, and, and, and then he says, I know them. And number three, he said, and they follow me. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm speaking from, from a brief uh, thought today, listening to the voice of God. Subtopic. Why God still speaks. Some would say that the word of God, the Bible, has enough word for him not to say anything else. I hope somebody got that. But the Bible is clear. God is still speaking to us today. He says, if you are his sheep, you will hear his voice, number one. Right. You would follow him, number two, and you would obey him. Three things. Mm -hmm. Hear his voice, know his voice, follow him and obey him. Listening in faith, keeping his commandments. Hallelujah, right, because we have to know that God has a plan for your life. And I want to say to somebody here today, God told me to remind you how significant you are. Thank you, Lord. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. What does that mean? That means that you are important. It doesn't matter what anybody else think about that. You have to know that for yourself. Yeah. Let me see the hands of you to here today who know that you are important. Yeah. Hallelujah. You might not be important to the man down the street, but you are important. Hmm. You might not be important to the person on your job, but you are important. God told me to tell somebody today that you need to recognize that you are not only important, but you are significant. God has you strategically in place. As I listen to this mother here sing today, I saw her daughters mesmerized by watching mama. And I said, because when I was just looking at the mama, I was the whole time. And I said, isn't that wonderful to bring them up in the way that they should go? Yeah. She may be an opera singer one day because she's seen mom. And even the little, the little, little fella there, he was looking at mom. You need to know that you matter. Oh, did anybody get that? You need to know. 
You're the light of the world. You matter. And just because everybody don't recognize that, it really doesn't make a difference. God has said in his word that ye are the light of the world. And he told me to tell you today, the question is today, why God still speaks today? The question for today is why God still speaks. All of this word in this Bible, why God still speaks. It's similar. Somebody would say, well, it's uh, 66 books. It's, it's, it's a lot of reading. It seems that he said it all. God is still speaking because you make a difference. You are the light. You are that path that somebody is looking at. You are that direction. You are that pathway that they need to look at to follow. God is still speaking. And God is still speaking because it matters. Let me just uh, start by uh, giving you a couple of reasons why God still speaks. And you need to hear that God is speaking to you. Look at, point at somebody and say, you matter. You matter. Oh, come on, point at somebody and I tell them, you matter, you matter, you matter. You matter. And, hallelujah. and that's why God has you here. That's why God has you on this earth because you matter. So God is still, some would think yeah. that God has spoken enough in the Bible that he wouldn't have to say anything else. All right. But God still has something to say to us that may sound a little bit new. Because we hadn't heard it in a while, because we hadn't thought about it. So let me let me begin by uh, giving some reasons why God still speaks. First and foremost, He loves us just enough as He loved the people in the Old and the New Testament. He spoke to them. He said, "I'm gonna keep on speaking to my people." Uh, look at somebody and say, you matter, you matter, you matter. Oh, you matter, you matter. Uh, and God speaks to us because he wants us to talk to him. He wants us to have a dialogue with us. You know, uh, if somebody talked to you alone, you might answer them. You might ignore them for a minute, but after a while you might say, well, I've been listening to you. I've been thinking about what you said, but uh, 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 I have a response now. But as God talks to us and as he speaks to us, honey, we develop a dialogue. Somebody say dialogue. dialogue. I need a dialogue with the Lord. I need a dialogue because sometimes my thoughts are not his thoughts. My ways are not his ways. And I need him to talk to me about me, about what I'm being bombarded with. Anybody listening right in here? Yeah. Because the enemy comes to bombard our life and to challenge us and to cause us to think that we are losers and to cause us to think that we are not going to make it. So there's a need for the Lord to keep talking to us. Tell us we're going to be all right. He can call, well, tell us, hallelujah, that you still got it. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. They can cry uh, to tell you that he still got purpose for your life. Still that he has a he has his hands on your life. Hallelujah. Right, because you know the devil will lie to you and tell you you finish. The devil will tell you that you're insignificant. But the devil is a liar. That's why the Lord has to come to our rescue and tell us, I got my hands on you. I have purpose for your life, Elder Donna. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. I know where you are. I know what you're going through. I know what you're experiencing. And he wants us to understand that I'm still with you. I'm still listening to your prayers, Sister Crop. I, I still heard you. I'm still going to give you the desires of your heart. Hallelujah, Sister Nancy. Here, I'm going to do the things that I promised that. It's good to hear the voice of the Lord sometimes to tell you, hallelujah, you're going to be all right. Hallelujah. First lady, he wants you to know that he hears your prayers. Hallelujah. hallelujah. He wants you to know, hallelujah, that God said, I am with you. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. So God still speaks primarily because 
He wants us to know that he loves us. If you love somebody, you're going to listen to them. You're going to respond to them. Uh, just like he responded to Daniel. Hallelujah. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He knows. Hallelujah. That he responds to us because he loves us. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. The second reason God still speaks, hallelujah, uh, is that today that we need his definite and deliberate direction from him for our life. I need the Lord to tell me what to do sometimes. Anybody ever been there? Between two places. I need him to speak to me because sometimes my flesh get in the way. My thoughts get in the way. My will get in the way. So I need him to still speak to me. Anybody need the Lord to speak to you? Because I need to make the right decision. I don't want to, I, I don't want to miss the mark. I want him to say, well, what? My good and faithful servant. As he spoke in the Bible days, he spoke to Moses. He spoke to Jacob. He spoke to Joshua. He spoke to Noah. Hallelujah. He gave them help in making decisions. Thank you, Lord. We need to know that God is still speaking. I still want him to speak to me because sometimes my flesh get in the way. Johnson won't what Johnson won't. And God said, no, that ain't, that ain't for today. Uh, maybe down the road. But I need him to speak to me and clarify because, you know, your flesh will get in the way. That's why uh, the phrase is so important. Thy will be done. Not my will, because I think I know, but I, my knowledge is not complete. My knowledge is not adequate. So I want him to speak to me like he spoke to Moses, like he spoke to Noah, or like he spoke to Jacob and Joshua. Amen. Third reason God speaks to us today is that we know we need his comfort. Anybody ever need comfort from the Lord? Lord, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to express myself. But Lord, I need you to comfort me and assure me that you are with me. Children in the Red Sea is an example of that. Amen. Hallelujah. The walls of Jericho. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When Joshua had to fight at AI, there were times. And there are going to be times in your life when you need the Lord to speak to you. The devil going to tell you you are defeated, but the devil is alive. I need the Lord to audibly speak to me. Tell me, you're going to be all right. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Why is God still speaking? Because I need to hear his voice. I need, I need the most important reason excuse me, God is still speaking today is he wants us to know him. What do I mean when I say that? He wants me to know him in a special way. See, you know what? Nobody can tell you about themselves better than they can. Because, see, I need to hear the Lord's voice sometimes for the Lord to say to me, I, I know what you're doing. I know what you're going through. And I want you to know I am with you. I am with you. I want you to know me. I want you to know me that I will keep my promise. I will keep my word. Anybody here ever asked the Lord for anything and the Lord did it for you? Amen. You had the patience to believe. <clears throat> you had the faith to believe. You knew that God was going to do it. Hallelujah. Rather than God send you a word, listen to what I'm going to say here now. Rather than God send you a word, I knew you through somebody else. God will come to you himself. Mm -hmm. Somebody tell him thank you. Thank you, Lord. So glad. Hallelujah. That he don't have to send a man from New York or a man from Chicago. He can come into my bedroom at night and tell me you're going to be all right. Thank you, Lord. You're worried about that bill. You're worried about that job. You're worried about your family. But he's still speaking because there's something about the way God speaks to you. Thank you, Lord. Situation may seem impossible, but he wants you to know I'm coming into your presence, to your bedroom to let you know I made you a promise that I will never leave you. 
I will never forsake you. I'll be with you. I want you to know that I'm listening to you. And I'm going to answer your prayer. Now, somebody might ask a question, well, uh, uh, is, does he just speak to you all the time just by a word? Sometimes. But God's uh, oh, for sake, God works in mysterious ways. Yeah. It's one that's too perform. So sometimes God speaks to us through direct revelation. Amen. Hallelujah. Old folks had a song that say, You understand it? What? Better by and by. Some things we're not going to understand. Hallelujah. Right now, sometimes some people God speak to through dreams. Amen. God ever spoke to you through a dream? And you woke up and you know it was real. You knew it was true. You knew that God was saying something to you. God knows how to get his word over to you. And God told me to tell somebody today, hang in there. Weeping will only endure for the night. But joy will come in the morning. Just hang in there. Because God cannot lie. Not a little piece of that is. Don't expect everybody to be able to understand your case. Because your neighbor tripped and scratched his knee up. All right. And they're going to tell you, sister, just hang in there. You might get a little bruises. You might get some bruises. You might break your leg. You might do this. God said, I ain't got none of that for you. I'm building your faith. You can just have to wait. Mm -hmm. For some people, waiting is a difficult thing. They'd rather have, just, Lord, just go ahead and break my leg and let me let the leg heal it out. I'll, I'll be all right. But the Lord said, no, you're going to have to wait. Because I'm building faith in you. I'm building uh, resistance in you. I'm de dealing with you in the area of endurance. Some of us have to understand there's something that God is going to have to tell us. Wait on the Lord. Yeah. And be of good courage. And he'll do what? Strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Yeah. And what he's doing in you. Because the devil hated it when you Endure hardness as a good soldier. Never hate it when you say hallelujah anyhow. Yeah. When it seems like everybody else is getting going in a positive direction, and you're moving a little slow. The Lord said, wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Yeah. Yeah. Teaching you how to wait. Somebody said, why I got to wait? Because you got to teach your children how to wait. Yeah. I have to teach your spouse how to wait. I yeah. teach your brother how to wait. Yeah. Listen to this. It's not about you only. It's about you. That's why God speaks in so many different ways. Amen. Parents have to learn this difficult lesson because we have such responsibility. Another way God speaks is through dreams. Now, some people get dreams all mixed up, and that's why God can't speak to everybody in dreams. Because, see, dreams, sometimes uh, people, uh, uh, God will give them a dream and they interpret it the way they want to what? <laughs> so, so, so God, 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 God don't give everybody. But there are some dreams, anybody ever had a dream that God gave you and it came to pass exactly like he said? God makes it so plain and he knows you're not going to try to mess it up. You're not going to try to change it. Hallelujah. God gave Daniel a vision of what was going to happen. God will show you. And there are times when God will show you and he'll tell you, don't tell nobody else. I just need you to know this. Somebody need to hear this. I just need you to know this because you need to know that you will survive this. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You better get through this. And don't talk to a whole lot of people about it because they'll cause you to get discouraged and think that you're going to fail. But the Lord already told you, no, no, this too will pass. Yeah. Show you in a dream. Somebody said, how can I get out of this? How can I get through this? And he's telling you, you will get through it. God spoke to Daniel about some things that were going to happen that Daniel had to know because he had to operate in a certain sphere. Listen to this. There's some things that's going to happen in your family, in your life, that you're going to have to be the one to speak up and say, hey, you know what? 
We're going to get through this. Because God is faithful. God said he never leave us. He is, hallelujah, aware of where you are. And i got to listen to him. Because he made me a promise a long time ago. He said, I'll never leave you. I will never forsake you. I'll be with you always. And he would tell you sometime that, 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 that there's something coming that you're going to get through it. And sometimes he allows us to know what's coming our way, but he wants us to know that he has a plan to get through. God showed Daniel so many things. Now, the other way God speaks to us, one of the other ways is God speaks to us through his word. Ten commandments. This other commandment, God speaks to us and he tells them, you know what? God cannot lie. If he said he's going to do it, he is going to do it. Mm -hmm. God speaks to us also through his prophets. You know what? There are times in your life God will send somebody to speak to you and speak a blessing in your life. Y'all need to catch this. And they don't even know they spoke a blessing in your life. Come on. Is it possible? Yes. If God intends for you to bless, some people bless you and they don't even hardly realize it. You just, you do a lucky rascal. You just this and you did that. I don't know what it is about you, but they, they, they tell the truth. They, I don't know how you always end up or how you always, something about you. And you need to say within yourself, I'm blessed. Mm-hmm. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I do. Even though you don't understand, I know how it is. God will confirm it. Uh, he says it like this, I make the darkness light before you. Whatever is wrong, I'll make it right. And the high places, I will bring them what? God will audibly speak to you and tell you, this too will pass. Uh, somebody's going through something, the Lord told me to tell you, it's coming to an end. Come to the end. God know what he's doing. He said it's coming to the end. And there are times, listen to this, there, 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 there are times, I'm repeating myself because I'm somebody did this. There are times God will speak to you to somebody. Listen to this. They don't even realize what they're saying. There are times God will cause folk to bless you and they don't even know they bless it. You're a lucky rascal. You just this and you just that. But what God does. See, God will give you a promotion on your job and your boss don't even know why he's giving it to you. Oh, somebody ought to tell the Lord, thank you. God will open the door for you. And the person that opened it don't even realize what they're doing. But God is still speaking to you. Because he said you'd be the head and not the tail. Above only. Somebody say above only. He speaks to us through prophets and he and then i'm talking about today how god's still speaking to us now he speaks to us through circumstances see a lot of things that happen that look bad uh i got scripture for this uh take the scripture now softly and everything do what give what give thanks for this is the what everything because nobody can curse you and your family without God's sanction. And you know God said he's going to bless? I mean, he is going to bless and nobody can stop that. So what I'm talking to you about today is God is still speaking. Amen. God speaks through circumstances. Sometimes we don't think uh, any good can come out of a circumstance. But God said, I'm speaking through this circumstance to let you know I'm still in charge. You ever got a raise on your job and don't even know how you got it? Uh, you, you, can I get a hand on that? Anybody ever got a raise? And didn't, even, didn't, even, didn't even know. I didn't even try to get this one. I did. Uh, I believe God tell, tell, tell somebody expect the what? Expect the raise. You know what? Some, 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 somebody said, well, uh, it, it, the economy not right. The, the business is not right. God will open a window in heaven. But he get ready to bless you. And sometimes he'll tell you, I'm going to bless you. Keep your mouth what? Shit. 
This is just for you. God got them kind of blessings where he wants you to bless. Because God will make folk bless you. And, and then, listen to this, somebody need to catch this. God will make folk bless you. And then they'll come back and, and say, I'm going to give you something else. I'm going to bless you again. God will make folk bless you over and over and over again. Not my will, but thy will be done. God's on your side. God told me to tell somebody. Uh, the, the key theme to this word today is God is still speaking to you about you. You're still his child. He still has blessings for you. He still orders your steps. Hallelujah. He still wants everybody to know that you are blessed. He still has a plan to take you. So God speaks to us through circumstance. Sometimes I don't understand what's going on. But when I look back at the whole thing, God did all that to bless me. Yes. God speaks through circumstances. And there are times when God will send an angel into your life. Oh, come on. Somebody don't believe in angels, but God will send an angel. Amen. To bless you. Somebody give God a praise. <laughs> God will send an angel. God spoke to Mary and Joseph through an angel. So you're going to have a child. Hallelujah. And you need to understand that this child is going to be from above. But now the primary way, I'm trying to wrap this up, but the primary way the Lord speaks to us today is through his word. God's never going to do anything that's contrary to his word. It's primarily through his word. And that's why the Bible is clear. That word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. God speaks to us primarily, number two, by his Holy Spirit. The Lord will speak to you and tell you, brothers, the boss fit to give folk a raise. All right. The devil tell you, say, I need a raise, but he don't need one. Leave it what? Leave it alone. You know what? God will bless other folk just to bless you. God will do because he said it like this. I said before you to open what? Nobody can share it. God will speak to us by his Holy Spirit and he'll tell us, shut your mouth and let me do what I'm going to do. Thank you. One of the simplest ways God speaks to us, sometimes we don't recognize it. God speaks to us and God bless us through other people. God will put somebody in your life or somebody in your way and you might not understand what is happening. Mm -hmm. But God will speak to that person and he'll speak to you. Hallelujah. And God will speak to you through circumstances. Mm -hmm. See, everything that happens to us that looks bad is not bad all the time. Mm -hmm. Daniel was in the lion's den. Hebrew boys was in the fire front. But God got the what? Glory. Yes, yes. You need to understand. Circumstances is one of the ways God speaks to us. God told me to tell somebody today. I don't know who it is, but there's a blessing coming to your house. You got to believe it. Hallelujah. And don't try to figure it out and don't try to make it happen. If God be for you, he is for you. Yeah, amen. You need to understand. Hallelujah. I need to hear his voice. Mm -hmm. The key to me receiving, I need to know his voice. Three things. I need to hear his voice. I need to follow his voice. And I need to obey him. I need to listen in faith, believing. And I say, I can't. I, how am I going to raise now? The boss say, ain't nobody getting a raise. Man, I might call you in the office and say, we're going to give you a raise, but just don't tell her. Can you, can you keep it? Can you keep it? Let me hear you say it. Can you keep it? Yeah. Because God never changed it. He'll open a door for you. Hallelujah. Nobody can shut. Hallelujah. And he says in his word, I will never leave you. 
I will never forsake you. Hallelujah. And you need to understand that God has a plan to bless you. Hallelujah. And you need to understand that no matter what the opposition is, God told me to tell you, he sent you here today to understand that there are still miracles. And God speaks to you by the things that's happened. I'm trying to close, but listen, listen, listen. There's some things that happen in our life that don't look right at first. Oh, good. Uh, I don't know uh, what, what happened here. But the Lord said, just hang in there. He said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I knew the man of God was in prison for 13 years. Joseph, listen to this. Y'all y'all remember Joseph. His brother sold him into what? Slavery. God allowed him to go through that. 13 years, he spent all this time in captivity. But God took him to the top, from the bottom to the head. And I'm talking to somebody today. I'm trying to close this message out. But God told me to tell you to learn how to wait on the Lord. Uh, learn how to praise God. Learn how to tell the devil this too will pass. Learn how to tell the devil God cannot lie. What he said, hallelujah, he said, I need one person here to say my money is blessed. Oh, come on, say it like you mean it. My money is blessed, hallelujah. I need somebody to say my seed is blessed. My house is blessed. My body is blessed. God made you a problem. For 13 years, Joseph was incarcerated by his own brothers. But in the end, after all that, he came out to be the head. And God used him. I'm closing with this. You cannot curse what God has what? Bless. And you need to know that. God told me to tell somebody, I don't know who it is today. You need to understand that if God has blessed you and your family, the work of your hand, and what he's assigned you to do, God cannot lie. No weapon form shall prosper. God has made you a promise. He will not fail you. Three things. I tried to close. And I said that ten times. Three things. God told me to tell you to leave with you today. He's with you. I need somebody to say he's with me. Number two. He has a purpose for my life. Number three. He loves me. He loves me. You have to be able to say they meant it for evil. God meant it for good. Yes. God is still speaking today. And you need to understand that the scripture that I started out with today is my sheep will hear my voice. And I know them and they follow me. I challenge you today to understand that God has a purpose as Joseph had to come to the conclusion after being sold into slavery by his brother. God never changes after spending all those years in Egypt. The Lord still kept his promise. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Joseph was in training from the age of 17 to the age of 30 or 31, somewhere in there, for a purpose, for what God had for his life. And God has a purpose for every action he allows. And I need to say, and you need to say that he's with me. I'm going to be all right. Yes, yes. Stand with me and let's pray. Stand with me and let's pray a prayer because I need you to understand that what God is saying to you today is so significant. God is still speaking. 
about your circumstances. Father, bless us now. As we prepare to take communion, the broken body of our Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for the price that you paid. Bless us to remember that you're still speaking to us today. And you told us we are the head and not the tail. I need somebody to say, my children are blessed. My family is blessed. In spite of what's going on, my finances is blessed. Hallelujah. God, what you promised me, you're going to bring it to pass. Now, Lord, bless us to remember one of the key thoughts for today is that you are still speaking. You're still speaking to us in so many ways. Bless us to hear your voice. And Father, bless the communion table now. As we do what you have said, do this in remembrance of you. Bless us now in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Let me read the scripture and then we can uh, move forward. <clears throat> Anybody blessed in here today? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Somebody say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. First Corinthians chapter number 11. Verse 23, for I received the Lord, that which I also delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take ye, this is my body, <clears throat> which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. And after the same manner also, he took the cup and and when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Father, bless it now in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. Elder Donald, would you bless the communion for us now? Most gracious Father, we come unto thee at this sacred time. We ask, Lord, that you may bless, Lord. You say it, do this in remembrance of you. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you may bless, Lord, every communicant, Lord, that you partake of this. Father, we pray, Lord, that you may bless, Lord, all your people, Lord. Father, we pray, Lord, that you may bless this part of the service, bless this, bless the table. Bless, Lord, and bless your people, Lord. Father, we pray, Lord, that you may bless the church as a whole, the pastor. Father, we pray this in your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Now, share that first layer off and get that wafer in your hand. Do you have one? Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For my family, for my children, for my finances, for my job, for my life, for my health. I want you to take this way for now and say, the broken body of our Lord Jesus Christ. This was broken body. Take it now and say, in the name of Jesus. Take that second layer. Take that second layer. Is uh, repeat after me the precious blood of Jesus that was shed for me. Take it now and say, In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I feel led to have a second prayer. Help, help God, would you give us a second prayer for our communion today? And we might bless somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for being the take of your death, death, and your resurrection. We thank you, Lord, oh, for this time, Lord. Give you glory and praise and honor for being here in this church right now. Father, we pray, Lord, that you may continue to bless, Lord. And Lord, throughout, Lord, this month, Lord, that your people might be blessed as they share 
your gospel. Father, we pray, Lord, that you may bless, Lord. Oh, bless, Lord, your people. Bless, Lord, those that are not here, but, Lord, have heard you heard on today. Father, we pray, Lord, that you may bless this church. One more time, we ask this in your name. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray that in your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm gonna ask you. At this time, we're gonna get ready to lift our offering and our tithe. Amen. Come, come, let's bless it.